What is up, people? Today, we're going to be doing a quick little demo of our new After Effects tool. Uh, this thing's, this thing's freaking sweet. Okay, so what this tool does, is it allows you to upload an image file and it uses a machine learning model to transform that image into a 3D object. As you can see in my canvas here, uh, composition viewer, you can see that we have some of these 3D models that I created from an image. And the uh, the model that runs this, they just updated like their version and this new version 2.0, I mean, it's freaking crazy. Like look how detailed this thing is. And this, this is from an image. Um, so we're gonna do a quick little demo today, kind of just like go through and just show you guys how this works. So there's two ways that this tool works. The first is going to be this API model. And this is going to use an API to generate these 3D models only via API access. So it can't run locally, unfortunately, uh, but we're going to showcase that and we're also gonna showcase a local version of the model. And so we can go ahead and run this locally. So let's go ahead and uh, just click on the start local server. If you're just using this for the first time, it's going to have to download the hugging face model and it might take you know several minutes to actually get set up. Uh, now that I have things set up, it still takes about a minute to get the server running. You know, machine learning stuff, what are you gonna do? While we're covering that, while this is starting up, I'll go ahead and cover the API model here. As you can see, we get credits. When you sign up, you'll get like five credits or something like that. If you want more, just hit me up. I'll add it to your account. We can go ahead and let's just upload an image here. It's gonna give us a little preview here. And I generate this in Flux. Flux is sick, by the way. Um, but we'll go ahead and click on Generate. It's going to go ahead and initiate this job through the um, API that we're using. As you can see, we got some progress here. Great success importing into After Effects now. Let's go ahead and solo this. I mean, pretty, pretty stellar results, right? This is, this is sick. I mean, it's by far the best image of 3D model that I've seen out there. It's definitely some you know, issues. I'm no 3D modeler or really a 3D animator at all. So you guys can nitpick this as much as you want. But the fact of the matter is this thing came from an image with no time at all spent modeling it. And here it is straight in After Effects. As you can see, it deducted a credit. You can see we can upload an image here. I implemented the copy pasta little logic here. So if you have an image in your clipboard, just click on paste and it will uh, go ahead and do the same thing. But let's go to the local server. Okay, so this is up and running now. Now we can do the same thing here. We'll do a little side by side. I'll click on upload here. Maybe crank up the mesh resolution a little bit. So we have some sliders here for this local model here. Remove background, that probably always needs to be on. Unless you have an alpha image. Foreground ratio kind of controls like how much depth they really bake into the model that it creates. Uh, but we'll go ahead and click on generate. As you can see this little you know bar down here. Local model may take a while. It's true. Uh, this will probably take you know a minute, depending on what type of hardware you're running it on. We have it running on Mac right now, almost done with the Windows integration. I think that we can take advantage of CUDA, so it should run pretty quickly on a beefy GPU. This is just running on my MacBook right now. Okay, folks, we just got back that render here. So this ran locally on my CPU on my MacBook here. Yeah, I mean, not as great results, right? Not the fidelity we were looking for. But hey, I mean, pretty sweet for running locally. Still really cool. I bet you can still come up with some cool stuff with this. I think the pricing model that we're gonna go with here is um, free usage for local. You can run this locally, whatever you want, get access to the tool for free, and then maybe for the API. I don't know, if I'm kind of leaning towards it just being listed on plug and play. It's still pretty cool stuff, right? Pretty cool, this stuff is advancing quickly. I mean, damn, like this guy. So nice. Look, we can go inside the house there. Um, okay, yeah, I'll uh, leave you guys to it. Hit me up if you want access. The download is kind of going to be like 300 megabytes probably because of the local model files that we need to include. But um, yeah, really cool stuff. I think that this is just going to keep going. We're going to see text to 3D animation soon. After Effects, you know, is doing all this stuff with 3D support these days. I think it's a great time to release a product like this. Yeah, give it a test. Let me know. Thank you for watching. Catch you all later.